Okay, I've had a few people inquire on some of my build videos how I go about filling in my spiral lines on my body tubes. And there are a million different ways to do it, and they're all right. Um, everyone will argue that their way is the best, and I just want to offer this as an opportunity to see another way of doing it. I'm not saying this is the be-all, end-all way to do it. It's just the way I prefer to do it. Um, it's a little bit messy, but in my opinion, it's, it's probably one of the easier ways to do it and least time-consuming ways to do it. Um, so this is the way the tubes come from the factory. Now this is an Estes tube. Now interestingly enough, you think you see the spiral line tube, but that's not actually where your groove is. Your groove is actually in between. You can see here's a, a darker line, a darker line, but right in the middle there, that's where you're actually going to feel a groove with your fingernail. Um, when we fill these in, that's actually what's going to get filled in. Now this is a, um, a finished one, this is post um, filling. That line right there is equivalent to the line you see right there. See that? What you're seeing here in the middle is the grooves that were you could fill with your fingernail. This is filled in with gray primer paint. And we'll go outside and I'll show you here in a minute how I go about doing it. But you can see that when all said and done, the paint or in this case the primer is left inside those grooves and depending on how many coats you do will you know determine how much that gets filled in this is only a couple coats and it's not perfect you can still feel just a hint of uh, a gap there but it's much better than it was and when I go out and do a final painting on this particular rocket um, the final priming and paint will fill that in but um, it doesn't hurt to go ahead and have that perfectly done ahead of time but what we're going to do is we're going to take it outside and we're going to spray this entire tube down with gray primer. And I would say get the cheapest primer you can uh, find because you're going to clean most of it off. As soon as you get it sprayed down, and we're not talking light misty coats, just go ahead and put a heavy coat down so you can ensure you get those uh, spirals filled in. Then immediately go over and get some lacquer thinner and paper towels and just start cleaning this off with lacquer thinner. Wipe it all the way down. Um, let it dry for a few minutes after that, and then if you want to put a second, third, fourth coat on, again, whatever you feel you need to do. But uh, it's those layers of primer that's left in those grooves that'll help fill those in. And again, I, I think the, the quickest you can get the lacquer thinner on it, the easier it will be. The longer you let it sit, the harder it'll be to, to wipe off all the, the primer. But, but it comes off very easily. Like I said, just some lacquer thinner on paper towel, and we'll, and we'll go out and show you how we do that here in a second. So let me, uh, let me get this ready to go and we'll head outside and do some uh, filling. Okay, as you can tell, we're outside now and the sound's a little uh, little harder here. I am close to a major road, so if you hear traffic, I apologize. Um, a lot of times what I'll do is I will run a dowel with maybe some double-sided tape to act as a holder for this while I spray. Um, but you can elect to just uh, have your rubber gloves on and just pinch it. You just want to make sure you're not pinching on the groove that we're going to try to fill in. Okay, so I just got some uh, regular Rust-Oleum uh, flat gray primer. I think this is like six or seven dollars a can. Give it a good shake and then we're just going to pretty much douse it all the way around and then we'll head over to a table and we're going to wipe it off as soon as possible. So we'll just do this in order here. Again, doesn't need to be pretty. We just need to fill in or, you know, get a full coverage on it. Okay, let's head over. Let me just do another little coat. Okay, let's take it over to the table and we'll wipe it all off. Okay, the tube is now completely painted and covered. We're gonna take, always have plenty of paper towels ready to go. And we're gonna take some lacquer thinner, douse the paper towel in it and then just start smearing all the primer off. And it's a messy job, but it works. And it's gonna take several paper towels. That's why I said have them ready to go, but you can already see it coming through here.
I do this over a glass table because the glass is a lot easier to clean up than anything else. But you can already see it's starting to come through. Oh, the sun just peeked out behind a cloud. So this is the one with the paint in it. This is the original groove, which again, it didn't take any paint because it's not really a groove, but uh, this is what we just filled in. Okay, so let's turn it around. Getting close to the end. And the good thing is the lacquer thinner dries really quick. And because the primer paint itself is such a thin layer, it dries really, rather quickly as well. So it's not like you have to do this and then let it sit on the bench for two or three days while everything sets and cures. You don't have to worry. Okay. So there you have it. Now I can leave it as is, or I can elect to put another coat on it. Um, upwards of, I, I think I've done up to four coats on uh, different applications, depending on how thick the groove is. Um, like I said, I think I've done up to four coats, but that's one one coat and you can already see it's filling in nicely. Um, it's not perfect. So at least I would say on this is gonna take two coats. But uh, very, very simple process. Let me grab another two for comparison. So you can see those stripes are lined up there. You can see where the, the paint has filled in. Where here, you don't even see anything right, right there. So anyway, that is just one way of doing it. I know there's a million different ways with wood putties and different uh, fillers and, and things like that. But uh, this is something I tried and it worked and I like it. Um, and it's rather quick and, and simple. Uh, it is a little costly when you figure in you gotta, but that's, you know, $6 gone. But uh, I think it's worth it for me. So anyway, just wanted to share that little technique with you. Hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Uh, if you give it a try, let me know how it works out for you. I'm curious to know. So leave a comment down below on your thoughts. Thanks everybody for watching. God bless, bye-bye.